the path to Longtail Village free of frogs, the builders could start repairs on the Crimson Fort's bridge. The farmer had fled his grub-infested basement in terror. He was sure they would destroy his bug-juicing machine before long. Reggie assured the farmer he would not let that happen. were gone. The farmer could now make the best freshly squeezed bug juice in all Raptum. Reggie liked it with bits. With the paths left unguarded, the grubs had crawled to the surface. The builders couldn't work while they're there. Builders could start their repairs in safety. The Crimson Fort would soon be able to welcome visitors again. His brother's chef was glad to be home, but the smith was still missing. The chef believed he might have also been captured. Maybe the elder knew where. The village had already started repairs. It would soon be as if the frogs had never come. The guard captain, who had recovered, had spread word of the king's rescue of the elders. To show their gratitude, the villagers would help rebuild the rat fort. Not so lucky this time. The elder hadn't seen the frogs with the smith. But maybe the ever vigilant rangers had seen where the frogs had gone. Young Robin had been headed to the ranger's lodge. Maybe Reggie could ask there. Rotting corpses always bring pests. If the grubs get beyond the farm, they'd be everywhere soon. His royal ancestors had lifted rats from such places. No rat had dwelt here for years. The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped his bow would last the fight.
The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped his bow would last the fight. <laughs> The head ranger saw the smith taken to the tower by the foul Swamp Slayer clan. But the frogs had barricaded the path. Only a heavy two-handed axe would shatter it. Nothing like the feel of an axe smashing through tough wood. Reggie wondered if it would do the same to frog shields. And frog skulls. was excited to help the king. An unforgettable tale to tell his children one day. The smith's hammer. He would never have dropped it willingly. Reggie was grateful for his help. He needed to get to his brother as fast as possible. Would he find him still alive in the tower? Smith was alive, but the key to his freedom was held by Blocky Magoo, merciless leader of the Swamp Slayers. He squatted atop the tower, croaking orders to his clan. The village would soon be a ruin, and the frog spawn would feast on the dead. Thank <laughs> you. 
foul corpse of Blocky Magoo lay lifeless on the floor. He had croaked his last orders. Free of his chains, the smith would return to the Crimson Fort. The ranger would return to the lodge to begin to rebuild his guild. The young king thought he'd best check in on them both. Poison. Applied to any blade, it could affect enemies of any size, giving Reggie a much needed advantage. Grubs in the sewers. Reggie looked forward to a day when being king didn't involve so much time in sewers. The village might still be smoldering in places, but that wasn't enough to stop a hardened business rat like the shopkeeper from selling his goods. The guard captain asked the young king to join him in the trial ground. There was something he needed to see, a monument to honor his father, King Rattus. He would grieve after his kingdom was safe. Crossbow of finest hardwood. A weapon fit for a king. The chef wanted the renovations to start with the kitchen, as rebuilding a fort is hungry work. Apparently, also expensive work. In the golden age of Reggie's kingdom, he would invent taxation. But for now, he needed to complete quests for the Elder Rat to put coin in the royal coffers. thanked Reggie for his rescue, but he still needed help. This infestation was of a size he'd never seen before. The young king hoped that was the last of them and that the smell would wash off his armor. A scouting party of frogs, out searching for any weaknesses in the village defenses. This needed to be dealt with, and quickly. <laughs> Robin had been tracking this warband of frogs for some time. They were becoming quite the team in dealing with pond scum. <laughs>
scouting party had been dispatched, and the village was once again safe from the terror of frogs. For now. The woodcutter had a wheel. He was willing to part with it for a price. <laughs> Battling frog scum was hungry work. If he could find more ingredients, the chef might make him a feast fit for a king. <laughs> The smith must have heard from the chef that Reggie was made of gold. But his cause of rebuilding the army was necessary if the frog clans dared return. The smith must have heard from the chef that Reggie was made of gold. But his cause of rebuilding the army was necessary if the frog clans dared return. More grubs in the miner's basement. Big enough to keep the miners from the tools they need to work. The kingdom needed the miners to find iron to arm its soldiers with no delay. <laughs> 